Good morning, Call Journey family. I hope you guys had a very, merry, merry Christmas. Even though Christmas is over, I'm still coming back to back to back with vlogs until the new year. So today is day seven of the vlogs. And today, oh, what is that? Okay. It is day seven of the vlogs and I wanna do a organize with me, okay? My pantry right now is just looking real raggedy, real crazy. It's time to wash my linen. So I'm gonna try to go to like find some like different things that I can help organize my pantry with and just make it look real cute. So a lot of the things that are in my pantry, of course, it's my linen, any kind of tissues or toilet paper, um, you know, women's stuff. And then of course my lock and hair products. So, and even like some kind of like essential oils and just like things that I use for my hair even before I went locked. So I just wanna organize that and clean that out and just make it look neat. So come with me today and we're gonna figure out how to organize it. All right, y'all, so I separated the towels and face towels and everything that needed to be cleaned. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in my Samsung. This is actually a pretty new Samsung washer and dryer and it works really, really well and it has the drum technology, so it's not super, super loud. Um, so I'm just gonna add all of the um, towels in there so that once we're time, once it's time and it's ready to do the organize with me, I can just fold my towels and put them in there with fresh, clean new towels. Um, what I use is the high efficiency tide free and gentle. I don't think it really needs, you know, fragrance, especially if you're using these towels on like your body parts and your sensitive parts and your face. Um, so I'm just going to add the detergent in there and get started. A few minutes later. All right, y'all. So this is some of the stuff that I got. I got most of the stuff from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, I wanted to go with clear so I know what's in everything. And some stuff, I don't even know if I'm a need, but I just bought it anyway. Um, so some of the stuff I got from Bed Bath & Beyond and then I got something else from Five Below. So we'll see what we need. All right, y'all. So this is what my pantry looks like right now i know embarrassing just so embarrassing it's not color matching it's just stuff and then it's just a lot of clutter down there so i just want to go through all of this and kind of make it super neat and just put stuff together and also get rid of stuff that i don't need or use anymore because this is just trifling all right y'all so i got all the towels I'm just going to go through one by one and fold them. <sighs> How do y'all fold clothes? I think that's the most irritating thing or chore for me to do is to fold clothes and put them up. Like, <sighs> it takes me forever to put my clothes up. Like, I don't know. Maybe I just try to wash too many clothes at one time. And so when it's time to put them up, I'm like, eh, it can wait. <laughs> I don't know what's y'all worst or least favorite chore to do. So when I was taught how to fold towels, I was taught to fold it in half, shake it out a little bit, fold it in half again, and then fold it a third time. Make sure the creases are lined up and boom. You're done. That's how I was taught to fold towels. Anybody else fold towels like that? I really do hate folding up and put it up clothes. I think it's more of hanging the clothes up than anything. 
don't know. It's just irritating. y'all so all of the towels are clean and ready to be put into the pantry um i guess we can start organizing the pantry now i'm gonna have to take everything out and i want to go through it and see what i want and don't want and then we can start putting them in the bin so let's get to it <music> Closet is all clean. Now I just have to go through all of this stuff. I'm not sure what I want to keep, what I need, what I don't need. I'm just gonna go through all of it and try to put it in containers and store it really cute. So I moved everything out here so I can have a little bit more room to kind of like sort through the stuff. Um, I also got a trash bag um, and some Lysol wipes because I'm gonna clean off everything that I'm keeping and put it neatly into the containers that I got. So the only thing that's left in the bathroom is the tissue, um, my foot scrubber thing, and my bath bubbles and stuff like that. So um, we'll go through that once I get done with all of this, because this is a lot. stuff that I threw away and then everything else is kind of organized over here based on like what kind of category it is so basically if it's stuff that has something to do with like shaving that's in the same area anything like women products um nails oils um so all of those are separated over here so now I just gotta go through makeup and like hair products
y'all. So this is how much stuff I threw away. Um, these are all the products I have left. If you want to see what products I use and and live by, um, make sure you put it in the comment section down below. It's actually time for me to uh, refill up on hair products that I actually use every day. So maybe I'll do a vlog for you guys on where I go and, and what I do to um, get them. Um, but pretty much, I know for sure I'm keeping the Design Essentials Honey Cream. I use this as my second, my second shampoo um, when I wash my locks. So, of course, we're keeping this. Um, I've had this container for pretty much the whole time I've had my locks. So, pretty much the whole year and a half. Um, because I really don't use a lot of it. A little goes a long way. So, this is the same container that I've had since I pretty much started my locks. I have the Oat Protein and Henna Shampoo by Design Essentials. Um, these two go together. I had the bigger container in this, but I used it all because this is the cleansing shampoo. And so you shampoo with this twice. So I actually need to get a bigger one. I'll probably get it soon because this one is running out, but I'm keeping that. Okay, so I want to keep all this stuff in the piles, um, but I want to show you guys the containers I got. So I got this spinny container for the shampoos, um, for my like essential oils, um, it's going to go in here. I don't know if I want to use this. I don't even know if this goes with what I'm going for. But maybe the tissues can go in here. I don't know. We'll see. I may not even use this. We'll see. Um... I got this big box right here. I think this is where all of the like um, rollers and um, flex flexi rods and perm rods are gonna go in just because it's a big box and all of them can fit in it. And I'm gonna probably like organize them and band them together by size uh, so that they can fit in here and can carry this up and down. Um, I got this for, you know, like my lady products where you can just open it up and it's like big enough to put tampons and pads in there. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use this for. I think this is just the let's see what we have left. Um, it's wide enough and long enough for, you know, miscellaneous stuff to go in. So I don't know. We'll see what we use this for. Um... And then I got this for like, you know, my makeup and then maybe like the edge controls or something like that. So I'm just going to start putting stuff together and see what fits in what.
All right, y'all, so I finally am finished. Um, let me just kind of give you a rundown of where everything is. So all of those um, perm rods, flexi rods, that was in like two different containers. I just color coded them and put them in rubber bands to keep them all together and organized. And then over here, I have all my um, polishes, uh, manicures. Um, I had some fake nails right there but i haven't even used those so i don't even know if i ever use those um nail clippers nail filers foot scrubbers all of the foot stuff over here um in this container and then in this container i have like my gels and my conditioners um and my edge controls i only have like two edge controls which is the miel and i i barely use these um but i didn't want to get rid of these in case I needed them. The Tala Wahid tight hold. And then I also have, oh, the Shine Jam. I don't even use that. I haven't used it in a while, but you never know. Um, I use this for my hot oil treatments, that as well. And then whatever mousse I'll need for styling. So this is kind of a mixture of styling and miscellaneous. As you can see, I wanted to put that into something and I kind of needed that to hold it up. So that's what's in there. Um, and then of course in here is jewelry. So that's locked jewelry. And then that's ju other jewelry under there. Um, and then of course, lady products, makeup, and also like shaving stuff at the bottom. All my different types of oils. And then my spa bucket. So it has like, you know, all the face mask and things of that nature is the scrubs. Um, and then, of course, I have my shampoo. So shampoo, shampoo, shampoo. Um, this is the hair mister. All my combs and brushes. And then my sprays for my retwist. So I'm going to go ahead and put it inside of the, um, the closet and let you guys know what it looks like when it's done. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so she looking good down here. Okay, I tried to put all the spa stuff at the bottom. Um, the next row is just stuff that I don't really use every day. So I don't really use the curlers every day. I don't wear makeup every day. I don't polish my fingernails every day. Then you come up to the next row, which is like my conditioners. Um, but of course I use those with my shampoos and my oils and of course the lady times um and then up here we got all of the towels i don't have a lot of towels that i coordinated but you know i tried to put the colors with the colors and then of course at the top i got all my paper towels and tissues right, guys so there you have it that is my bathroom closet pantry it's all clean neat and organized and i love it let me know what you think in the comment section below all right Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you guys next time.